Hey guys, it's Sunday and I'm just starting off a fresh week. Um, so I'm starting off my week by just neatening up my apartment. getting so many packages in this new apartment and my neighbors are like we've never seen anyone that recycles more cardboard than you do and I don't think it's that much like it's really not before the shutdown I got a pair of APL sneakers and I don't think I've ever worn a pair of sneakers as much as I wore this pair and I really wanted another pair of sneakers as the weather is getting a little bit colder and it's a little bit grosser outside and it's wetter and there's really snow and stuff. I didn't really want to wear my white ones all the time. So I just got these. I'll try to bring them a little closer so you can see them. They're by APL. They're nice and slim. It's my absolute favorite kind of sneaker. So I'm super excited about these. I'm actually wearing my new black, I guess they're, what are they called? Joggers. I want to call them lounge pants. And I did get black sneakers to go with my black joggers. So I'm super excited about these. My mom is, she's amazing at knitting. She made me some gray blankets to match my home. Oh my gosh, they are beautiful. So her blankets are the most amazing thing. This is a beautiful gray color and the detail is like so nice. I just want to wrap myself into it. Maybe I just shouldn't go to the gym today. Maybe I should just stay wrapped in uh, one of these new blankets because it's so nice. I'm gonna go in and neaten up my bedroom too because it is also still a little bit of a mess. I am getting ready to head out to the gym. Um, it's like kind of funny these days because you have to make a reservation and I feel like, yeah, basically I'm usually late. Um, so I've got my workout gloves. Um, I've got my gym backpack, which is kind of filled with some exercise bands and things like that. I write down my workouts for the month so that I can track my weights and get stronger. And then last thing I have is a shake, one, frozen banana and two scoops of chocolate bulletproof protein, which is my favorite kind of protein. It's like one of the few that does not upset my stomach. I'm just getting ready to make dinner and it's one of those nights where I need to go to the grocery store. So I have to get a little bit creative and I just got this cookbook that I really love. It's called Food, What the Heck Should I Cook? And it's by Mark Hyman and he is a functional doctor and he is, I just really love him. I think he's really smart and um, I just kept watching his Instagram and he had such great pictures and good ideas for food. And sometimes I just actually all the time I run out of ideas for what to cook so I'm actually doing his quick and easy super salad and this is his recipe free cooking and it basically just gives you ideas for different things to put into a salad so it gets your mind working um, so I looked through my fridge and oh gosh I'm already forgetting the name of these I want to say these are shallots my mom just corrected me I think they're shallots 
um, organic carrots. I'm gonna roast some sweet potatoes after I dice them up. Um, I'm gonna slice up an apple. I've got my most delicious favorite green goddess dressing and of course sweet baby lettuce. And then I have some organic chicken in the fridge and I'm gonna take that out and cook it as well. And after I've got that going, I'm going to put together some blueberry paleo muffins, which are gonna be super good too. So that is for dinner. I'm getting ready to season my chicken and all I have is a little bit of onion powder, paprika, sea salt, and I'm going to chop up some garlic as well. And then I'm also going to just get that out of the cabinet. Take a little bit of this olive oil. This is actually a really, really good olive oil, by the way. It's 365. It's Whole Foods Extra Virgin Olive Oil. And it tested super well as far as actually being olive oil. I don't know if you guys have seen the things where people are trying to pass off things as olive oil that are not actually 100% olive oil, but this is amazing. Sweet potatoes are out of the oven and I've got a salad prepped with salad, lettuce, apples, carrots. My mom is on Zoom visiting with me. Mom, what are those green things called again? Scallions. Don't mind the mess by my mom. That's where I keep my mess. Scallions, carrots. Um, there was supposed to be an avocado, but as usual, I opened the avocado and it was completely gone by. And then we just have our chicken finishing up in my little wolf, oops, steaming up over here, oven. Looking delicious. Looks so good. I have my sweet potato on top of my salad and my mom and I are having our ketchup visit on Zoom. I'm about to try a, take my sweatshirt off for a second. Um, I just got this new fleece jacket and I'm so excited to try it. It's another thing from Allo Yoga. So this is called the Sherpa jacket and oh my gosh, it's so soft and cozy. It's got a zipper and a snap on the hood and let's try this bad boy on. Oh wow, this is so soft. So this is the jacket. It's a lot of jacket, as you can see. Um, it is really, really cute though. It's I thought about not getting it in black, but I feel like black is just, black is like all that I wear. Let's try the hood and see. I have a really high ponytail, so it may not work, but, um, I mean, the hood's fine. It's cozy. I think I'm not looking that great because I don't usually wear my hair off of my face like this, but anyway, love this jacket. Um, the dogs and I are going outside right now because it is election day and they're boarding up the storefronts in Boston because they think that there might be looting and smashing and things like that. So fingers crossed. Um, I hope that doesn't happen, but I'm gonna take them out before it gets too dark. So just wanted to show you guys this jacket. It is so cozy and so comfortable and I love it. And I'll, I'll take a better picture of it at some other point, but I'll see if I can maybe give you guys a little bit more light, but it's cute. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. So today is, oh my gosh, what is today? It's the day that they're counting the election votes and that is all that I feel like I'm thinking about right now. I don't mind my squeaky makeup mirror here. Um, so they're counting the election votes and I stayed up, I stayed up so late watching the coverage that it was not good for me. But I'm just so curious what is going to happen, which I feel like everybody is. Today is my um, day that I'm going to get my Botox. Do you guys get Botox? Um, I have been getting it since I was 
20, 20, 20, let me think. I want to say I was 28 years old when I started getting Botox. And where is my, where is my little brush? Not this one. Where is my brush that I use to get my eye makeup on? I was doing my makeup last night really quickly before my, ah, here it is. Focus on it. Sorry, my hands are, I have the most shaky hands of anyone that I know. Um, anyway, so last night I was doing my makeup because I was going to do a Zoom call with my husband. So Jeff, oh, I love the brush hairs all over my face. Jeff, my husband, is, he's living in Aspen as he usually does for the winter and I'm living in Boston. And every year it's, I'm okay, I'm fine being by myself. I don't know if you guys like being by yourselves or if you always like to be with your significant other, but I find that the more time that I spend with him, the more that I miss him and wish that we could be together more. So my dream is to be independent of needing to be at my physical business all the time, because if that were the case, then I would go out to Aspen and I would work in YouTube and sell products and do all those things that I do and be with him and work from home in Aspen. Right now, the way that I make most of my income is through my salon, but I've been changing my streams of revenue um, and it, it takes a while, but that, that is my dream, to have a little bit more flexibility in my life where me and the puppies could go to Aspen and be with Jeff. And I think that anything that you dream of, as long as you work at it and you don't just sit around and dream, I think you can make it happen. So that is what I'm currently working on. And I know I can do it. It's just, it's a really di different direction than what I've been doing. So I don't feel like I deserve it, but I am going to go look at a second camera. So I've been filming for for YouTube on, I have a, I have a Canon T5i Rebel, which is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But as I started to vlog more, or I guess vlog more, um, I've realized that it's not really the best camera for when you need to move around to different, to different settings. Um, I was trying to bring it with me and it's just, it's a bigger camera. And I also just like to leave it on its tripod so that I don't have to be moving it all the time. Um, and so I feel like I don't deserve, if, if that makes sense, a, a, another camera because it, I'm not this like amazing, you know, amazing vlogger and things like that. And I, I will say that I've had a habit in my life of buying things for something that I'm doing maybe before I deserve them and then I don't always wind up continuing to do that. This actually is different. I have discovered that I really, one, I love it. I love talking to you guys. Um, I feel like I've got a bunch of stuff to share and it just, it doesn't always come up right away. It's not always on the tip of my tongue, but it's the things that I talk about and I, I think they can bring some value to other people. So, but that said, um, it just, it seems like I feel undeserving of getting myself a new camera, but I need to get something smaller that can fit in my pocket. So if I'm traveling or if I'm, you know, just want to do something quick and walk around the house and not worry about, you know, moving. My DSLR is on a big tripod with a halo light. Um, and it's just a pain to move around. So it's, I didn't think I needed one. And then once I started doing more filming, I actually just started using my iPhone because it's little and it's easy to sort of bring around with me. The issue with using my iPhone is that I have a lot of messages that I need to reply to. So when I'm using my iPhone, I can't multitask and reply to messages and things. And that's pretty important because there's a lot as I'm sure you can imagine, there's a lot going on with my business right now. Um, I know last week I made an update and I was pretty depressed about my in-person business. 
Um, I feel better about it. I think it was just like, it was just a bad, it was just a bad collection of moments. And this is not, this is, I actually love this foundation. My mom was a huge Clinique fan and I, I really like this one because I do have very, the, the word oily is like so gross. Let's say combination skin. Um, and so almost anything that I wear just winds up looking, oh, I just mixed that completely backwards. I did the really dark tan color. Like my face is not gonna be that tan. Um, I do two colors and I do it on the back of my hand while I'm mixing it. I kind of warm up my foundation. Um, I'm not a makeup artist, but I, I don't do bad makeup. I don't know why I'm doing makeup because I'm gonna go see my dermatologist and he's gonna wipe all my makeup off. But I'm just feeling like I really wanna wear makeup today. So even if they wanna wipe my makeup off, it's okay with me. I just wanna start off with a full face of makeup. Once I get my, um, my Botox today, I just, I always uh, sort of swell up in little bumps wherever I get the Botox. Not because it's done incorrectly, but it's just, you know, that's what my skin does. He's, he's an amazing doctor. Um, so I'm not really counting on looking nice after my appointment, um, but I don't mind arriving and looking sort of nice. I feel like I'm gonna wear probably like a sweatsuit or something, but I'll do my best with my makeup anyway. So anyway, I'm gonna go look at cameras. Um, I was gonna go look at the Canon, I think it's called the G, I think it's called the G7, and it's just supposed to be very easy to use, very popular for vloggers, and um, just like a nice, simple camera. I don't need anything really fancy. I don't think that I would even know what, you know, what to do with it, but I just, I want something that can move around a little bit better. So that is what I'm doing. And um, I also, I think I'm gonna make a few more Yorkshire Terrier videos this week. So I did my first video about my dogs and I wasn't really sure how people would feel about it, um, but it's my passion. So I really like talking about things that I love and I love my dogs. And I also feel like it's a nice opportunity for me to educate people that might be thinking about getting a Yorkshire Terrier. My, my loves are fitness, beauty, um, wellness, and Yorkshire Terriers. 